it's me, Nisi J. Today I'm coming to you with Stuff on. Hey, my Sheba Riri. <laughs> she just went to the groomers and she hated it. <laughs> this is my decoration of my dining room. A little Christmas decor. Look at my turtles, of course. He's sitting up on the dock and then the one swimming frantically. He's basking, that's why his legs are all stuck out. Just swimming around. What you singing, right? Huh? You know my husband sings too. To get my Sheba with her little stuff on. <laughs> she looking like him. Don't be taking no pictures of me. No, oh, man, I won't take that. I'm going to go outside. You know, he sings really, really, really What's good. What's the key to the truck? I got to uh, put the equipment in there. Oh, I forgot you have choir rehearsal tonight, huh? See, he's like the teacher and minister of music of the choir. So Where is it? That's what he's doing there while I have to get ready to go to work. Is it in his pocketbook? So. Right I'm trying to say he's getting ready for choir rehearsal. He is a the minister of music. He plays the keyboard and the bass and plays all that good stuff. So he's loading the car up with all this equipment that I always have to end up lugging around somehow. Isn't that right, Ray? <laughs> Whatever. So that's his keyboard. So he's getting ready to go to the choir rehearsal tonight. <sighs> and I'm getting ready to start. Look at some of the neighbors at their Christmas lights on. And we have ours on too. Come oh. on. Okay. So. We can try to look. He is so. Why are you acting camera shy? I'm just doing what I already No, you don't, because you be looking at me. <laughs> Why'd you stop? No. He trying to act camera shy. Yeah. Yes. You fixing some coffee now? I'm just putting it. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. Yeah, fix. Go ahead and make it up, because I need some. Man, so. You don't have enough for the day? No, I have not. Had I had enough, I wouldn't ask for some more. Yeah. Man, how about that? So, fix the daggone coffee, man. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Turn around, Ray. I don't know what I regularly do. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hanging out, we're getting ready to go. Hanging out with my son, DJ. Look at say hey. <laughs> okay, that now say hey. Hey. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm hanging out with my son. Hanging out today. with my son. I am. Hanging we're, out. We hanging out. I am. We are gonna hang out. He so he's so he gets he's the he's the math teacher. So he's he thinks he's so smart. Anyway, let me just turn around this way. So you can see me a little bit. So I'm all ready, getting ready to go and hang out with my son. He's rushing me. I look like look look like crap a little bit today. So anyway, my hair look like crap. I look like crap today. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And so I'm just gonna take you all along with me a little bit today. He's sitting here waiting. See how he's looking. Look at that. I'm not used to all this camera. Huh? I'm not used to this camera. You're not used to the camera. No. Look at your face, look. <laughs> okay, we are in the truck getting ready to go. Got my little riding partner with me. So yeah, we, we have a little bit of errands to run while Ray is at work. Um, Jabin hasn't got here yet. And, um, that's that's my other son. We both, they'll probably be, he'll probably be here probably on Christmas. So, yeah. He's just excited. DJ had to come on down and spend some time with his mama. And then we're going to go pick up um, Mike. And I'll tell you a little bit more about, ooh, about him later. So, anyway, we're off. Okay, so we're walking in to, we are at Target's. Let's see if you can see. We're walking into Target's. I know people. I didn't get used to now. Usually people be looking at you when you when you vlog and I didn't get used to them. But I give them like two or three seconds to look and if they keep staring, I stare back. That what happened. Okay. So they get a, a little they glance. Get a free, they My, get a free pass. Huh? They get a free pass to look. Right. Just for a minute. So anyway, I have Ray. I have Ray. I'm vlogging and look, I have Ray on the line. Look, Ray, I got you on here. I might give me another. So <laughs> Okay, so now we just, he, he didn't find anything he wanted. So, we're probably, we're just gonna go to Starbucks, which is in here, hey, hey, which hey, I am loving. My treat, you know. You gonna treat? I'm treating my Oh, mom. see, that's the good thing about having almost grown, well, grown children. They get to treat you sometimes. Almost grown. Well, I say grown, you know, so. This is one of my favorite. I'm not gonna get any coffee. I'm gonna get this caramel apple spice that I love to get. I'm not getting nothing here. You want to get one? It's so good. Where's get a called? small one. Caramel apple spice. Get you a small one. Just a taste. It. You'll love it. Alright. Okay. So. Ooh. I'm going to need to focus in a little bit. Okay. Get, give, me, give me one too. You order both of them. A large? Small. Okay. How you doing? I want a, um, the largest one of the caramel apple spice with extra caramel no whipped cream and a, and a small one of those too. You want whipped cream? Sure. Yeah, he want whipped cream on this little small one. Thank you, DJ, my baby. Look at my hair. I look, I look like crap today. You must have get some else. Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't have so he's a he's a teacher and his students gave him that cup. But I told him not to spend it on me, but he's not a coffee drinker or a Starbucks goer, so I am, so yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let me get out the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Here. Okay. Okay. No, you keep it for yourself. I don't drink, I don't drink coffee. Aw, thank you. I don't know you can take these yourself. Taste it. You taste it. I don't like no creamy stuff, so it doesn't taste like this. What is that called? Strawberries and cream with caramel drizzle. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the cream is only at the top. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, it's really good. It tastes pretty good too. You sure you don't want the Starbucks thing now? Nope. This really does taste pretty good. It's real good, as a matter of fact. Hmm? Better than I expected. It's so good. So good. I love them. Mm. Pretty soon. They shutting everybody down. Everybody. Let me make you a close up. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Good. Yeah, thank you. We've been out just running, just running errands. So, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat, and we'll see you in a few. Good morning. It is like 5:34, and we are up, getting ready. We're eating some breakfast and up, getting ready to pick up. Mike, and Mike is Ray's son, but let me just explain, it's our son, but we used to do this. We are like a blended family. So, Ray has like, how many boys? Three boys? Yep. He has three. Ray old. Ray old. No, but um, he has three boys, and they're like from, I think your oldest one, Marcus is how old? 30 something. 33, 34. Yeah, Marcus is about like 33, 34. And, um, and then it's um, Mike. This is the one we're going to go pick up. He's like in one of those um, special homes for like adult children. Um, he's he's like disabled. He is. You have to do everything for him. He has to eat. Ray has to feed him and change him. And he's about how old though? Uh, twenty-six. He's yeah, twenty-six. So he's basically like a baby though. He, you know, so we, Ray has to do everything for him. And we're going to go pick him up because um, he's in this little home that they take care of him, real good care of him. But, you know, we like, who wants to just sit in a home? I um, got you in the eating. Who wants to sit in the home all day long without nobody coming to get him and stuff? So we always like to celebrate the holidays with him too. Don't look at my head. I'm, but yeah, we like to celebrate the holidays with him too. So we get go and get him, you know. So when we first got married, it, it was a little bit hard, you know, to share the truth because I didn't know what to expect. He basically has to do everything for him, so he's kind of a little helpless and stuff. I didn't really realize that until one day he swallowed something and couldn't tell us what was in the hospital. And, you know, he can't talk, he can't tell us anything. So that's when I was like, wow, you know, he, he's just helpless. So we're going to pick him up so he can eat some Christmas food and give him some Christmas um, presents and things like that. So, so Michael uh, was actually born normal. He uh, got sick when he was about a year and a half old. And so from that sickness, uh, he was in the hospital in intensive care. And once he came out, he uh, kind of lost his hearing. His equilibrium was off. And so from that point, he basically stopped developing. So he's like uh, about a, I guess maybe nine month old infant mentally, uh, but he, you know, he's an adult. So that's pretty much what happened with Mike some years ago. So we're going to get him now. And uh, he's What's your nickname you call him? Mookie. <laughs> they call him Mookie. <laughs> so yeah, he go and get him. He recognizes his voice too. So when he comes in, he say Mookie, he starts smiling. So yeah. So that's what we're doing and everybody's excited. The boys get to see him and spend a little bit of time with him before you know. We'll probably take him back sometime either Christmas Day, sometime later that day or that next, maybe the next day before Ray go to work. So one of the elders. You got it. It's in there. It's in there. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Eating some Bojangles before we head out. I wanted to sit down somewhere and eat, but we probably won't have no time to do that.
Yeah, Ray is excited. He haven't seen, he haven't seen him in a while, so yeah, he's um he's in there getting him, picking him up. So yeah, he's excited. I'm excited to just get to see to get to see Mike, you know, and spend some time with him and stuff. So and the boys, all the boys will be there. So this this would be really good. I'm glad. I might put this in a ponytail. So yeah, um, and so when we got married, back to that. Um, you know, I knew it was some work, but you know, you don't know realize how much work it is until you actually in it. So, but you work through everything, and now it's just like I a lot of, a lot of times I ask, "Are we gonna go go ahead and get Mike?" He'll be like, "Yeah, yeah," you know. So because we, you're a family, and so that's what even with blended families, you have to get used to and adapt to each other. And once you do, you know, it's just like. No, like everyone, no one thinks that until I tell them that you know we're a blended family, that all of the boys aren't ours, aren't ours together. So that's why we like to do that. So yeah, you know. So you met DJ and Jay gonna be over tomorrow, and this is Mike, and then you'll see Marcus, Ray's other son, and we just uh, call them our boys, and that's what we do. Ray called my son, you know. So all of and all of them love each other too. It's amazing. All of them just really, really love each other, and um. Like when my son, when DJ graduated from college, Jabin was just like, I'm so proud of you. My brother graduated, you know, and then DJ's proud of Jabin when Jabin goes get a job and he started, went back to school and DJ's like, man, I'm proud of you, you know. So, yeah, they proud of each other when Marcus got him a, another job in an apartment and, you know, they, they are just all... They all root for each other and they all are happy and want to see each other succeed and that's what we love about it, you know. With us too, we both always say, you know, when you've been in a um, in a bad marriage and you remarry and you find somebody that that loves you, you try to work it out. You just like, you know what? We already know what a bad marriage is, so we work on trying to have a good marriage, and that's what we say we're gonna spend the rest of our life on. You know, we decided that this is it. You know, we found someone that, you know, we both have the same dreams and goals and want to do the same things, and so we just say, this is it. We just you know, marriage is work, but it's well worth it. So when he comes back in, you'll see, and he'll tell you a little bit too about marriage and just some of the stuff that you have to work through, especially if you're a blended family. It, it, sometimes, you know, you can't let the children break you up and you can't let other people, because people will want to put you in a category too and just make you like your second class citizens because you are remarried. And that is far, far, far from the case, you know. So, yeah. He's in there now, so we get to see you get to see Mike or Mookie that we call them. So they're giving us medicine now. Huh? They're giving us some medicine. Oh, okay. They feeding them too, or he got to no. eat, he got to eat some breakfast. We're just getting something. We'll get back. He's the main thing he got is medicine. There we go. There's no bigger countdown. It's not to be known as the message was released in 1982 and often referred as one of the greatest hip hop songs of all time, and I agree with that. And finally, in March of 2000, Memphis Lashley Pierce, I broke history and became first to people. Ooh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I can't even move yet. You gotta go right now in a minute. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. What's his coat? He got a coat? Yes, yeah, back there. <laughs> hey, Mike. We you know you're going somewhere, don't you? Uh -huh. Ooh. 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 So he know he no, he going somewhere. We're going into TJ Maxx too. Yeah, so. Got my little red hair on today to try to match. Try to get in the Christmas spirit. So we're doing a little bit of shopping. Get pick up something. Hey, how you doing? Merry doing Christmas good. to you too. So. 
last minute shopping as usual. So that's what we do, been doing. So which way you gonna go? Over here. So yeah, we're picking up some stuff now for Mike. Hmm? Okay. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm vlogging. <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> so, yeah. Picking out some nice little stuff. Trying to see some, see if we can find some nice little stuff. You know, last minute. We, we didn't get mics, so we wanted to see what you know how um if he gained any weight or lost any weight before we picked him up something. Look, Carolina Panthers. Oh, but I guess he's a Dallas fan. That's right. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> Panthers. What's your back, sir? Yes, sir. So. That was a medium. Yeah, small. Okay. That was a small right there. Make sure you spend at least $10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two, we're gonna go get these donuts. Just buy one, one, buy one, um, buy 12. Yeah, buy a dozen. Oh, you gotta stand in line over here. Buy a dozen and get a dozen. So that's what we're gonna go do, too. So we're gonna get some donuts because the boys will be here. Ray thinks he's gonna eat them all up, but he will not because he, he's greedy like that. So, yeah. Y'all need to get a whole dozen? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna get, um, got the coupon, we're gonna get, um, the ladies, and they'll get a dozen. Oh, oh. Okay. So you order yours, he gonna order six, and I'm gonna order yeah. six. Okay, Put it so let me get one of these. And he's no DJ already here. And Mike, y'all saw him pick up Mike. Hey, did you see? Hey, did the tour plan now? Yeah. yeah. Right, what's what's the tour? What's the tour? Seven six. Who? 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 Seven six. Who? Okay, so yeah, I'm getting ready to start cooking. This is my little outfit for today. I wore the shirt to have this on and my little shoes. Yes, it is my shoes. My outfit that I had on today. I was chilling today, y'all. I don't know why she got me doing this. She said I can't take no pictures. He give He cannot. He takes horrible take pictures. Great pictures. He takes horrible pictures. Okay. So yeah, what are we gonna do right now? We're just gonna eat some pizza. Um, since we just came back from church, usually we go out, but there's no need. It's, it's crowded, so I, we just got some um Little Caesars. What is it? Little Caesars. Yeah, Little Caesars pizza. And um, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start cooking for. And I'll show you some little recipes, some of the things I might show you that we're doing. So yeah, we, uh, these are the donuts that we picked up last night, of course. They're just about gone. I think DJ been tearing these up. Because it's two glaze and I didn't even get a glaze. So, you want to spread a little joy, we've got an easy way to do it. Now you can tap and let everybody. Oh, wait, Jamie got some more. Some more. Wait, look, they got some more orange shoes. Jamie's gonna be giving you probably some. <laughs> so, yep. All right. You say what? I said those are twelve. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's my size. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is my my mac and cheese. I made my like. With like a bechamel sauce, and I put tomatoes in my my family love tomatoes. The way I make it, it almost tastes like kind of like pizza a little bit. But anyway, I put garlic and tomatoes in it. It's really really good. So I'll let you see how it turned out. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm not vlogging too good today because I'm cooking in the meantime. And right now, also, I have my, my cornbread in the oven for my cornbread stuffing. Okay, my greens. They are cooking on up right here. So, now that's smoked turkey because I don't eat pork. So, that's the smoked turkey leg that's in there. I'm going to cut up some celery and onions. Put celery, onions, and my uh, 
I can just buy this at any international market. This bouillon, cute stuff right here. And what this is, I'm using this for my, um, like a base broth I'm gonna make for my um, cornbread stuffing. So yeah. So what I'm doing now, I'm just cutting up some celery. Um, I'm gonna cut the celery up and some onions. And this is, I'm making a turkey. It's, it's, it's not ham, it's turkey ham, but I fix it just like ham with the pineapples because we don't eat pork. So, yeah. so that's what I'm doing now. Just kind of cutting up my little celery. I've already cleaned it and chopped it up, so that's what I'm doing now. So, you can just kind of. Cornbread. I like it a little dark because I like my cornbread stuff and it kind of be a little dark, but this will be it. I'm let it cool up here. I'm sick of forking to make sure it's done all the way through. Yep, came out clean. There you go. And I'm just chopping it up. Oops, just chopping it up for my um. And this is I'm gonna pour this right here inside of this. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing, just chopping it up. Okay. Oh, when are you going to hold it in? Like now? Uh-huh, I'm going to ladle it. So I'm just ladling this in here now. And I usually put my cream of mushroom soup in here as well, which I don't think I'm, I think I'm out of some, but I'm, I'm going to bring up something. Well, this is it and then I just put it in the oven and let it cook then I use the rest of this for some of my gravy so for the gravy that I make for it so and this is it and then we stick it in the oven also I'm fixing a um, corned beef brisket I don't even eat a lot of red meat anymore but my boys and they, they, if I don't fix no meat they, they'll think I've done them completely wrong so yeah this is a my corned beef that I am gonna fix I told you along with the um, with turkey ham, which it looks like and tastes like ham, they do not know the difference at all. And then I also um, I'm gonna fry some chicken up, but I'll probably just eat more like stuffing. As you can see, I didn't put no eggs in my stuffing because I don't do I don't do a lot of. Um, if it was up to me, I would be a vegetarian again, like I used to, or do vegan. But my family, they're not gonna have it. So a lot of times I. I may eat some and I may not, it just depends. So, I don't know. We'll see what I do this time. But yeah, this is the corned beef and the turkey ham. So, and like I said, I'm gonna fry some chicken instead of the turkey breast because I'm turkeyed out from um, Thanksgiving. So, yep, that's basically it. Oh, and I don't put any eggs in my mac and cheese either. So, at all. But it comes out still so nice and creamy and they love it. So, <laughs> picked my husband and I we I live in the south now so I want to pick some of these potatoes I need to I'm wrenching them off cleaning them off now so I can get them ready for the oven I'll make some yams and um, a few yams and a couple of um, sweet potato pies maybe a sweet potato pie so yeah that's what I am doing and I will show every I'll show you the finished result because it's hard to try to cook it and vlog too so I just want to show you a little bit of the stuff that I'm doing so yeah it's, oh, and I'm making another stuff, and I make two types of stuff. My boys are so spoiled, like they really spoiled. So I'm making two types of stuff, and I'm making one stuffing with like the sausage, but um, you know, like the the sausage stuffing, and then the cornbread stuffing because my son DJ loves the cornbread stuffing, and everybody else likes the um the sausage, but everybody eats it everything. So yeah, that's that's what's going on. Watching my football game. So yeah, go Cowboy. I'm a Cowboy fan. So yeah. 
anyway, this is how we are around the house. I'm just gonna. I like to show you the real. I like to show just show you the real unedited cut. Um, you know stuff that we're doing. So yeah. So I'm kind of a little tired a little bit, but it's all good. Oh, I don't have to work, but yeah. This is how my, I usually wear my hair. I, have a, I just wore, stuck that wig on today because I didn't really, I didn't feel like doing my hair for church and stuff. So that's why I just stuck the wig on. I just stuck this wig on and kept it moving. So yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a few. This is my cornbread stuffing already done. I'm getting ready to put this is my sausage um, stuffing right here. I'm getting ready to put that in the oven. So yeah. Yep, and I have my corned beef cooking in the crock pot. We had it cooking all night long. And I just cut up all my little turkey ham. Cut up my turkey ham, and I'm getting ready to put the pineapples and season it with my, my cinnamon and brown sugar and all of that good stuff. So, yep, and I'm getting ready to cut up my yam. So, my dinner is coming along good tonight. So, all I have to do tomorrow after everything is cooked is just warm everything up. So, yep, coming along good. Yep, there's the mac and cheese out of the oven. I really like mine nice and brown too. So, yeah, that's the mac and cheese. Nice and done. We're drinking apple cider. Might go get some apple cider. And I make some, some cooking. And we are watching. It's time for the Roger and a Scrooge, but it's from Christmas Carol. I love this movie. Give him some. Um, I don't think he liked the and look at she. She was sitting down here. So yeah, we all just and Ray's helping me clean up as we cook. He's helping me clean up the kitchen. Thank you. No problem. It's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these cookies. I bet you are. Get well, Mike, you want some cider? So yeah. Now the food, the food, the food. Alright, yep, that's it. Time to grub. I am tired now. <laughs> we get getting ready to grub. Oh, cook, open that up right there. Yeah. And that's the yams. Marshmallows on top. So, yeah. Alright. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a blessed, blessed Merry Christmas. Don't forget, it's not about the gifts. It's about family and giving of yourself. All right, amen. You're supposed to say something. You're the minister of family. Right, that's not. Yeah, that was, come on. Yeah, that's it. All right, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yes. Enjoy. It's time for us to grow up now, so. We'll talk to you in a few. <laughs> It's amazing. Let me just show you. Um, Mister, it's amazing how you grow, how the boys grow up, and they just buy you real nice gifts. It's amazing. You don't even expect it. Okay, DJ. Let me just show you. Bought me this pea coat. So nice, and it's nice on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It was um in the box, folded up. So that's why it's a little wrinkle. But I love it. Um, and Jabin bought me this nice watch. You know, bought me this real nice watch that, that I love. And I um I got some Michael Kors earrings. And um DJ bought Ray a scarf and Draven bought Ray a watch. So it's amazing how the boys grow up and they just buy you things. You don't even expect them to do that and it's so nice. It's like wow. And so you uh, Mike got some clothes. So yeah, everything just is, is really good today. We're just enjoying family. He's over here. Excuse me, cool as they are. Eating, DJ and Ray. They are eating. And, and yeah, I picked up on the freestyle. I just freestyle over there. Alright, alright. Okay. okay. Nice camera. It's Ray Anderson. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> the coolest, the coolest. Hey, look, somebody did. Show for real. Stop playing. I swing the like <laughs> intro. All you need is that little boot bag. That's right. Cool, man. Yes. I want mine. Like, yeah. I just put it in. 
Y'all trying to run back out here? Who did it? 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 So, it's like I'm the slave and I clean up and I do all the, the okay. dirty work, okay? Yeah, I've been watching the dishes. Look. Okay. What is this? I've got your head in the thing. Okay. But anyway, yep, that's what we do. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And there's the boys back there again. Like you do better, you better every so. year, every year. Just a little bit better. Just a little bit. Better yesterday. I'm trying to be a dick right there, though.